it's me china and welcome back to my youtube channel y'all as y'all can see by the title of this video i'm back with another story time my last story time y'all was the story of me getting a fight in over hold on my last okay last story time i uploaded was about me getting a fight in over some bundles and i asked y'all if y'all like the vibes or if y'all wanted me to keep doing story time to so comment below and y'all said y'all want more story time so that's what we do really only one person commented and said um yeah keep the story time coming but all I needed was one. <laughs> All I needed was one. So whoever commented that, I'm doing this for you. Honestly, I had a great time telling that story. And it's so crazy because, like, I didn't know that it would bring up, like, some emotions. Like, I was getting hyped with it when I was telling the story. So I was like, yeah, this is low-key kind of fun. So I'm actually excited to be back here today telling y'all this story time. So, y'all, let's just get right into it if you're new here make sure you're liking commenting and subscribing to my channel and yeah i do vlogs i do hair content i do everything like that from here on i'm going to be doing story time every friday and then my vlogs and my other content mommy content whatever will be uploaded on sundays so if y'all like this video go watch my vlogs y'all because my vlogs be kind of lit too like wherever i'm at it's gonna be a vibe <laughs> It's gonna be a vibe, it's gonna be a vibe, it's gonna be a vibe. So get into the vibes of this video and let's go ahead and start this story time. So this story time, as y'all can see by the title, this was literally the worst birthday ever. Like when I tell y'all, when it comes down to your birthday, make sure that you have the right energy around you. Make sure that like the people around you is for you. They're your friends, not anybody else's friends, anything like that. Just make sure the energy is good. Like your birthday is a big deal. So make sure you set the standard by inviting who you want to invite, who you know is going to turn up with you, have a good time. It's no attitudes, nothing like that. So let's just start off by saying that. Okay. Um. So this particular birthday, y'all, it was my 22nd birthday. And I'm originally from New York. I was born in New York. Um, I came to Virginia when I was a baby. But my dad's side, and I have a couple other family members on my mom's side, is in New York. So this birthday, I was just like, I want to go to New York. Mind y'all, I know a little bit about New York. Every time I have went to New York, um, I used to go to New York all the time when I was a kid. But I used to go, like my family stay in uptown New York. So not really like the city or whatever the case may be. So every time I went to New York, I never caught the train. I never did like New York stuff, if that makes sense. I didn't catch the train. I didn't really go to no bodegas. Like I didn't do none of that for real, for real. So this trip i was like i want to go to new york i want to experience new york i want to go to the city do do dot 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 so i was in college at the time and when i had this idea i was just like okay let me invite you know all of my friends so at the time y'all i had a big group of friends now i only have like <laughs> three maybe four close friends but at the time it was like a big group of us because of course I was in college you know what I'm saying you don't really those college relationships it's all about oh fun turn up turn up turn up whatever case may be so that's the type of friends that I had so this birthday I was just like you know I want to invite everybody and I didn't say like oh you had to come I just put it out there I'm going to New York for my birthday if you want to come let me know and yeah so I had already started plan planning the um the trip and everything so I knew I wanted to take a bus to New York because the bus was just a little cheaper and I was just like oh a cute little road trip with me and my girls on the bus you know what I'm saying turning up having fun whatever the case may be so I went ahead planned a trip um I found the Airbnb I found the bus tickets and everything like that so I made a group chat with my friends and um basically letting them know the dates that I wanted to go my birthday is April 13th I'm an Aries so if you're an Aries shout out to you my fellow Aries but yeah my birthday was April 13th so I let them know the dates that I wanted to go I let them know um the bus I was taking I linked um you know the bus ticket and the airbnb that i wanted to stay in so actually no i don't think i found the airbnb first because i wanted to see like who was coming so i know what type of airbnb i needed to book so boom sent out the group chat the original group chat i believe it was my cousin and we're gonna name her well i'm just gonna say hair by jazz because she's been up a few been up here a few times so i don't mind naming her so it was my cousin hair by jazz it was um 
Sunshine from my first video. It was my homegirl Sunshine, my homegirl Penny Proud, and um, Liar. Liar was also in the group chat, okay? So it originally was just supposed to be us. So sent out the group chat. Everybody in the group chat was like, yeah, I'm with it, whatever the case may be. Cool. I got the people who, you know, who wants to go. So then I thought about my other homegirl, which we uh, met when I was in high school. And she's like really, 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 she's still a good friend of mine. Um, so I wanted to invite her because I haven't seen her in a while. And um, I think I had mentioned a trip to her. And she was like, yeah, I will be down to go. So mind y'all, me and I'm going to call her, I'm going to call her Brittany, okay? Me and Brittany, um... Like the last time we hung out, it probably, she also went to, me and Brittany, okay, so I met Brittany when I was in high school. No, did I meet her in high school? I'm lying. I did not meet Brittany in high school. I met Brittany in college, I want to say, but we, we were both from the same hometown back home. So I met her in college. Brittany was real cool. Brittany was my friend, but she didn't really hang out with my other friends. I kind of kept the kept them separate. So when it came down to my birthday trip, this was like Brittany's first time being with the rest of my friends. Liar, um, Penny Proud, Sunshine. This was her first time like really hanging out or whatever the case may be. So I invited her. And then, so added her to the group chat. And then Penny Proud, she has a best friend. So mind y'all, me and the best friend, we're not cool. Well, I wouldn't say like it was an issue with us, but that's that wasn't my friend. She's not my friend. I pretty much associate with her because of Penny Proud. This is Penny Proud's best friend. Okay, so me and her, we're not really cool, but you know, she, cause me and Penny Proud were roommates at the time. So, you know, she will come over, whatever the case may be, but she will always be with Penny Proud. Like I said, that's Penny Proud's best friend. So Penny Proud had asked me like, hey, is it okay if my best friend come? And we're gonna call her Attitude. Is it okay if my best friend Attitude come? So I'm just like, at first I was kind of skeptical because I'm like, I know how, hence the name Attitude. I know how her attitude is. Like one minute she could be up, one minute she could be down. Like her mood swings just, it's, it, it flip-flopped too much for me. So when she first asked, I was just like, I was kind of skeptical. Like, mm, I don't know, it's my birthday. I don't really know her. This is more so your friend, but you know, I guess the more the merrier, whatever. So I had said yes. So attitude ended up being in the group chat okay so liar has two friends named we're gonna call them crazy and delusional <laughs> we're gonna call the two friends crazy and delusional so at the time i was still cool with you know i was friends with liar crazy and delusional okay so like we turned up all the time in college. We were together all the time, whatever the case may be. But at the time, me and Crazy had gotten to it. And I'm going to tell you about that story time too. But we had gotten to it like in February. Mind you, my birthday's in April. So we wasn't really talking at the time. So I didn't add Crazy to the group chat because we not on really speaking terms like that. Like we got into it in February. I'm not really rocking with you like that. Like I just kind of took a step back from her. So Laya was just like, why didn't you invite Crazy? And I was like, well, me and her got into it. We haven't really been speaking like that. So I didn't think to invite her to my birthday trip because I want it to be a good time. And another the thing with crazy y'all her mood swings is all over the place too one minute she could be fine the next minute she mad about something got up she's upset so i was just like i just didn't want to deal with that but again me being nice or me i don't even know what it what got into me so i wound up asking crazy if she wanted to come and i'm so happy she said no because y'all this story probably would have went way worse than what happened so ended up acting crazy and she was like no i'm good <laughs> cool with me <laughs> thank you okay as long as i put it out there i asked she said no so cool she didn't want to come so i had wound up asking delusional if she wanted to come because i was like invite crazy and delusional say crazy and delusional want to come so i'm just like whatever so ask delusional delusional said yes so i was like okay cool because me and delusional really didn't have no problems again delusional was more so liar friend so mind y'all liar and delusional is close 
Penny Proud and Attitude is close. And I was really close with my cousin, Hair by Jazz, Sunshine, and um, Brittany. Brittany was just, Brittany, she's just a free spirit. That's just my girl, Brittany. So I was cool with them three. So mind y'all, those two, though, was really like buddy, buddy, best friend, best friend, best friend, which is cool. So now we have in a group chat, we have me, we have Sunshine, we have Brittany, we have my cousin Hair by Jazz, we have um, Penny Proud, Penny Proud's best friend attitude, we have Liar, and we have Delusional. Already, y'all, that's way too many people to be traveling with, to be like too many personalities. And I know each and every single one of their personalities. So I was just like, I was low key scared. And I think I had told Sunshine, like, I don't know how this ship gonna go because this is too many personalities. And then some people coming that I'm not even really cool with or don't really talk to on an everyday basis. So like, yeah, we're going to see how the trip goes. So already from the get-go, I had in my mind, like, something's going to happen. This is not really sitting well with me. I don't know why I invited all these people. I should have just kept it down to about three people <laughs> and kept it at that. So, but that didn't happen. So we get, so it's time for us to leave for New York. So um, I think our bus was in the same city that we went to college in. Cool. So my cousin, she was in Richmond at the time. So my cousin had to drive up to um, the city we were in to get on the bus. So cool. The bus ride, smooth. I pictures and videos of us on the bus. Cool. You know what I'm saying? We having a good little time. The bus ride, like I said, smooth. Smooth sailing you know what i'm saying nothing happened on the bus everybody is mingling introducing people hey this is such and such this is such and such this is such and such cool we good y'all we get to new york and this is where things started like taking a turn so one when we get to new york i had it set in my mind okay so our bus landed in um manhattan if y'all know manhattan it's like the city city is busy all that boom 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 so i don't know why i didn't do and this is on me i should have like made sure that our transportation from manhattan to the airbnb was already taken care of like i should have had that already planned but me and my mind mind y'all like i said when i went to new york i didn't take the bus i didn't do none of that where i'm from we call uber Okay, we call Uber to get from place A to place B. When I go out of town and I need to go somewhere, I call an Uber. So I'm thinking when we get to New York, we're going to call an Uber. And the Uber is going to take us to the Airbnb. Nobody told me that the Ubers in New York is $500. Like legit, <laughs> the Uber, y'all. So mind y'all, it was like seven of us. So we get to New York. We get off the bus. Mind y'all, we got all our luggage and stuff. And we're literally in the city of Manhattan looking dumb. So we get off the bus. So all my friends like, okay, what now? And I'm like, we're going to call an Uber. What y'all mean, what now? We good. Let's just call an Uber. Look up the Uber, y'all. The Uber is like two, $300. Who's paying that? Who is paying that? So I'm like, why is this Uber so expensive? Like what? And mind y'all... I think we had to take like two different Ubers. So all together, it would have been like six, seven hundred dollars just for us to get to the freaking Airbnb. So we're walking around looking crazy, trying to see if there's a cheaper Uber, trying to see if there's something we can do to get to the Airbnb, y'all. So I call um I call my aunt because my aunt, like I said, my dad's side lives in New York. So I call my aunt and I'm telling her, like, you know, hey. We're in New York for my birthday and we're trying to get from Manhattan to the Airbnb. And she's like, I could have told you that the Uber was going to be expensive before you even got here. So she's pretty much trying to tell us to take the train to, mind y'all, I ain't never took a train in my life. Neither have my friends. They, not, they This is all of their first time in New York, mind y'all. I've been in New York plenty of times, but like I said, I ain't do New York things. So my aunt is trying to tell us, you're going to take the A train to the C train, take the C train to the Z train. So we're like, huh, we're supposed to do what? So y'all, we went to the little, um, the train station, tried to get like a pass or whatever. Y'all, when I tell y'all we were so confused, we didn't know what was going on. And people in New York, they're rude as hell. So like nobody was trying to help us. Everybody was bum rushing us, walking past us. We're looking dumb, walking around with our suitcases. You could tell that we just was not from there. And it was so embarrassing. So after about like an hour or two of trying to figure out how to get on a train, my aunt, um, 
well after before then i'm just like y'all let's just get an uber but you know i was cool with paying whatever i needed to pay because i had hold on so i was cool with splitting the uber but you know the people i came with well most majority of the people i came with they were just like no i don't want to spend out on an uber i don't want to spend out on an uber so everybody's getting attitudes because we're stuck in manhattan don't know how to get no uber well the uber's as high as i don't know what and then i think even at one point uber's wasn't even available because i was about to just be like look we about to just catch this uber and go but the ubers wasn't available so i called my aunt again she's like i found y'all a bus to hop on you know this is what y'all gotta do i don't even remember how or like i don't know but i know my aunt ended up doing some research she found us a bus that's gonna take us to her for like 20 30 dollars so we was like okay cool so and she was like once y'all get here to my house at least you know you're somewhere where you know i'm here and you know well, she basically was just trying to get us to her because she was like, y'all don't need to be in Manhattan by yourselves. You know, a lot of stuff is going on. People be um, stealing and snatching stuff from people. And she was like, if you look like you're not from New York, people are going to try to prey on y'all pretty much. So she was trying to get us out of Manhattan as soon as possible. So she had ended up finding us a bus to get to her. And she stayed, like I said, in like upstate New York. So we wound up getting on the bus. So for some reason... Catching the bus is way easier than catching the train. And then this bus, it wasn't even like the city bus. It was literally a bus that took you from Manhattan to like upstate or whatever. So like I said, it wasn't a city bus. It was just like a, a regular, kind of like a Greyhound bus. But yeah, so a bus like that. So we ended up getting to my aunt house and we didn't even get exactly to her house. It dropped us off about like five minutes from her house at this like shopping center. So the bus drops us off. My aunt comes, but my aunt, like it was seven of us. So she literally had to take two trips to take us to her house. So she came, picked us up and then like in the shopping center, it was like this, um, this restaurant or this lounge so we went into the lounge and we waited there for her to come so she came the first trip i think um it was me i forgot who went on the first trip but like three four of us went she took us to her house she came back and picked up the rest of the group and then went back to her house so we're all at her house trying to figure out okay at least we know you know we're inside we're in a building or we're at you know my aunt's house so we're safe so now we're trying to figure out okay how do we get from here to the airbnb you know what i'm saying but like i said at least we're inside my aunt had drink shots so we're drinking we're um you know what i'm saying having us a good little time because everybody like i said everybody's attitude was like people were starting to get irritated and mad and then they're like looking at me like well you had us come out here like why you didn't have the plans and so i was just like whatever we get to my aunt's house my aunt have drinks everybody taking shots you know we warm up a little bit so now everybody's feeling good so i finally had looked up the uber again from my aunt house to the airbnb and y'all it was only like 50 dollars. at this point everybody was like yes let's get it okay let's just go ahead and get it since it's low it's cheap i don't know if it's because it was later on in the day or i don't know what it was but once we got to our house the uber was like 50 dollars, so we had to take two ubers we wound up splitting it 50 dollars divided by three four is what like what 50 divided by three like 16 20 dollars. so we like okay cool bet we can do that we can do that right so we get in the uber and we go to the airbnb so mind y'all before we even got to new york my friend so um penny proud her best friend attitude liar and delusional they all smoke i don't smoke i don't smoke no weed i don't like smoking weed i don't like doing any of that because i don't like the way it makes me feel so and also britney smokes too but so all of them smoke before we even got to new york or the airbnb i told them we're not smoking in the airbnb for one it was in my name and when i get airbnbs i like to follow the rules we're not smoking in here we're not lighting no candles to let out the smell we're not gonna open no windows we're not doing none of that just don't smoke in the airbnb point blank period so everybody already knew do not smoke in the airbnb so we get to the airbnb i was in one uber and the first in the other uber it was um penny proud her best friend attitude it was liar and it was delusional all of them were in the uber we were in the other uber their uber got to the airbnb before me right they pulled up to the airbnb before me so the way the airbnb was set up it was like a code you had to put in to get into the unit i gave them the code because they got there before me so they're like oh mind y'all this is what they tell me mind y'all i'm not there i'm not there they got there before me this is what was told to me um the airbnb smells like weed 
We walked in and the Airbnb smelled like weed. Now, if you ask me, I think they went in there and smoked and tried to say, oh, let's hurry up and smoke before she get here. And we just going to say it smelled like weed so we can continue to smoke in Airbnb. That's what I think happened. But the story that I was told was that the Airbnb, already, they called me like, hey, yo, the Airbnb smells like smoke. I'm like, what do you mean? It smells like the people before us was in here smoking weed and it smells like weed. So I'm like, huh? So they're like, well, since it smells like weed, we might as well just smoke it here anyway. And we're just going to blame it on the people before us. So I still wasn't with that. I'm like, no, we're not smoking the Airbnb. So they're going back and forth with me. It already smells like weed. It already smells like weed. We might as well. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, just let me get to the Airbnb. I get to the Airbnb so I can see for myself how it smells. It's like, it's not even a strong scent. Like it smells like weed a little bit, but it's like it wasn't really that strong so again they're still like it smells like weed it smells like weed we might as well go ahead and smoke it on so i was just like okay whatever just go ahead and do whatever y'all even though i had already told y'all and back then i was very like not really soft but I, I just don't like going back and forth with people so it's like whatever it do kind of smell like weed y'all just go ahead do whatever the case do what y'all want to do whatever because the attitudes and the back and forth i don't feel like doing that it's my birthday and i'm not going to do it so Get to the Airbnb, they start smoking. Mind y'all, so the way the rooms were set up, Penny Proud, her best friend, Attitude, Liar, and Delusional all was in one room. In the other room, it was me and my cousin here by Jazz, and then the living room had like two pull-out couches or something like that, and it was Brittany and it was Sunshine. So, mind y'all, so they're in the room, they're smoking, whatever the case may be. So the whole time we're there, they're like in their own little clique, which is cool. It's not really cool, honestly, but the whole time we get there, they're like in their own little clique, them four, because they're smoking, whatever. They go in the room, they close the door, they're in there smoking for hours, chilling, whatever. So really the whole trip, it really was just, I feel like it was me, my cousin here by Jazz, um, Sunshine and Brittany. I feel like it was us four and then it was the other four. Like literally, I felt like we was clicked up and I did not like that at all. So... Sunshine is also from New York. She has people in New York. And before we even, before we left, she had already told me like, look, my grandpa's in the hospital. So once we get to New York, I'm going to go see my grandpa for a few. And then I'm going to come back and rejoin y'all. So I'm like, okay, cool. So as soon as we got to the Airbnb, um, Sunshine went to go see her grandpa. Cool. I already knew that was the plan. You know what I'm saying? You go ahead, go check on your family, come back. You know what I'm saying? And just come and rejoin us so the first thing that was on the agenda we had a pole dancing class so everybody's getting dressed for the pole dance class mind y'all again it's just like them and us so we get um to the pole dance class and sunshine actually was trying to make it back for the pole dance class but she ended up missing it which i was just like okay whatever she missed the pole dance class so we get to the pole dance class and you know how like when it's your birthday it should be all about you you know what i'm saying the people you invite they should just be celebrating you the energy should be all on you whatever case it be that was not the situation in new york like it really was like everybody tried to act like it wasn't my birthday like nobody was really trying to turn up nobody was like I don't know like the energy was real weird even at the pole dance class like I said it was them and then it was us so it was me my cousin here by Jazz and Brittany literally on one side and then the other side it was um penny proud attitude liar and delusional so even like the videos and stuff we took in the pole dance class they would just take videos and pictures of just them on that side and then we were taking videos and pictures of just us like i have a video of me and britney sliding down the pole you know doing tricks and stuff and then they have like pictures and videos of them four just doing their own thing so again it really was just like and i know if i had not invited um penny proud and liar best friends like the extra two i know for a fact they wouldn't have been acting like that and you know how like sometimes people only act a certain way when other people are around like they give off that type of energy 
like when certain people are around they go more towards them and then try to leave you out or whatever and then when they're not around then they want to be all extra cool with you whatever case may be that's what it was given so even at the pole dance class everybody is still kind of separated whatever so um and the pole dance class let's get into that so we had wound up paying tickets and the tickets were pretty pricey for the pole dance class we pull up to the pole dance class and it looked like an abandoned building so already from the get-go we're looking like what the heck is this so we get there and the way it was set up you had to go upstairs like as soon as you walk into the building you go straight upstairs and then it was a studio so we go straight upstairs the studio we see the lady and i think we was also late so we had also showed up late <laughs> so we finally get there and um everybody is like already on edge because the building looks crazy the inside kind of look crazy but we're like whatever we're here now y'all the pole dance class it wasn't even like the way i'm thinking like she's gonna teach us tricks and we're gonna be on a pole doing different stuff y'all it literally the lady taught us a dance routine like i don't even think we got on the freaking pole we may have like got our hand and like spent around but that was it she basically just taught us a dance routine so we were just like we want to do tricks like what is going on so that whole class wasn't really what we expected it to be the instructor was pretty cool she was up there doing tricks we was pretty much watching her do all the tricks and then she just we did like a little eight count dance routine waste of money so after the pole dance class we go back to the airbnb and we get ready to go out that night so um sunshine finally sunshine got back to the airbnb before we even got back from the pole dance so sunshine she's like okay i know i wasn't with y'all for the pole dance class so she was like trying to she was at the house making drinks, doing everything so that when we got there, you know what I'm saying, we have drinks made, all cute, you know, turn up, it's time to get ready for the club. So we get back to the Airbnb and Sunshine, she is like full of energy, like, y'all here, I made y'all drinks, I made y'all drinks here, everybody drink, 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 drink. So mind you, and I love that because I already was like not in the best of mood because one, it took all that just for us to get to the Airbnb, then the smoker incident, then the the pole dance incident so it's like she was the only one her and um hair by jazz my cousin was like the only ones trying to like keep the energy flowing and everything like that and y'all know when you smoke like uh, people's energies change when you smoke everybody's all down and boring i don't like that it's my birthday we're supposed to be turned getting turned so we get back to the airbnb sunshine has drinks and i appreciate that so much so she's making everybody drink so we're getting ready for the club so that kind of like lightened up the mood so everybody started you know coming around being happy you know what i'm saying putting their attitudes to the side we drink it 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 so we finally get to um and mind y'all that night so for the club i told everybody to wear heels i'm like the whole weekend i wanted everybody to wear heels so i told everybody wear heels wear heels wear heels some people didn't want to wear heels i'm not wearing heels why am i wearing heels i don't want to wear heels so i'm getting pushed back about that whatever some people wore heels some people didn't we get to the club and i know how new york clubs are because my cousin before i even got there she told me like they are really strict on their um their dress code so make sure you guys are dressing to impress pretty much so we get to the club the club is cool. They had DJ, um, what's that DJ from Love and Hip Hop? Um, let me see. DJ Self. They had DJ Self there, DJ in the club. You know what I'm saying? It was lit. It was a good time. So while we're in the club, it was like kind of towards the end of the night. Um, it was like these group of guys in this section. They ended up inviting us into their section. So, but the way they did it, like, they wouldn't let certain people into the section. So, I'm not going to name exactly who they didn't let into the section because I just, I don't want to do that. I didn't like the way they did that. But, so mind you, we're going into the section and the people are like, no, only um, and they pointed to like three or four of us can come into the section. So, they pointed whatever. So, the people they pointed to, they go up into the section and I'm just like, no, I'm not doing that. Like, I'm not doing some people's in the section and the rest of the people is down here. Like, no, we're not. I'm not doing that. So they went into the section and I was like, no, I'm good. So I stayed with my people down on the dance floor because I don't like that. For one, you're not about to segregate us and be like, oh, such and such, such and such and such and such can come into the section, but the rest can't. We all came together. Y'all know we're a group. So I don't like that. I'm 
not separating nobody based off looks. I'm not doing none of that. So certain people went to the section. I stayed down on the dance floor and I'm dancing with whoever is left. You know, we're having a good time. We're having a good time. And I just didn't like how... You know what I'm saying? And mind y'all, they're like literally up here in the section and we're right below the section on the dance floor. Like, for one, why would y'all take y'all asses up there? I don't care if the person they didn't invite, you didn't like them, whatever the case may be. We came as a group. So for y'all to kind of leave us and go into the section, like, I didn't like that. And yes, I got invited to the section as well, but I turned it down because that just don't look right. I don't vibe with that. I don't like that. So that pissed me off. So... They go into the section, whatever the case may be. So I'm down there on the floor with whoever's left. We have a good time. So we go home. Didn't bring it up. Didn't do none of that. Because I'm just like, you know how you peep stuff and you're like, oh, that was weird. But I ain't going to point it out. I'm just going, we're going to be on a strike one. So that pretty much was like a strike one. So we get back home. Everybody goes to sleep. The next day was my birthday. So um, they did set up the Airbnb real cute. Um, when I woke up, I seen a message. I was like, don't come out to Rome. So I kind of already knew they was like planning something. So I finally, they told me to come out. They had like balloons set up. They had mimosas and everything like that. It was real cute. I don't know who, I'm pretty sure it was like my cousin idea and maybe Sunshine and Penny Proud's idea to um, set up the Airbnb or whatever. It was real cute. Everybody was in a great mood. Cool. So then everybody, we get dressed because we was going to, um the city to like walk around go shop and see the lights and go do lunch so we do that mind y'all honestly when we went to the city everybody was cool it still was kind of like segregated like them us them us them us but you know what i'm saying the vibes was pretty cool so we spent our day in manhattan we do some shopping actually nobody brought anything we was just walking around honestly did i buy something I don't remember i know we just went walked around we went to bbq which is a restaurant y'all so we get to the restaurant <laughs> and this is strike two we get to bbq and if you're from new york then you know what bbq is it's like a little um restaurant that has barbecue they have some bomb wings they got some great drinks so we get to the restaurant so mind y'all it's a lot of us it's a whole bunch of personalities it's just a lot going on so we find a table we sit down so the waiter comes over we order our food i had ended up getting like some hennessy um some hennessy wings which was amazing to not saying so we order our food order our drink so i don't know what happened but the orders came out wrong and the waiter had an attitude and when i tell y'all like it went from zero to a hundred literally real quick it went from Penny Proud's best friend attitude, having an attitude, <laughs> having an attitude. I think she got into it with the waiter because her food was wrong. And then it was just taking all day for some people's food to come. My food came, my drinks came. I was sitting over there in the corner eating, chilling, not saying nothing. Everybody else's food was like either wrong or it was taking all day. So everybody's getting frustrated. Attitude is going back and forth with the waiter. When I tell y'all going back and forth, I mean like, she gives attitude like for real so she has an attitude um who else i think britney ended up getting an attitude like it was just a lot of energy bad energy just just going just going just going so we at the restaurant when i tell y'all they're loud going back and forth with the waiter they are loud like i was low-key embarrassed and i'm just like y'all calm down you know what i'm saying it's my birthday i am not trying to have all of this going on so they of course don't pay me no mind they're still going back and forth with the waiter and i mean like go get the manager because did it i and i want to see the manager and it's just like why are y'all doing all of this <laughs> it was mainly attitude but it's like girl pipe 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 down please so that was strike two with her going off because it's like it's not that deep and i don't like causing a scene in restaurants and you're causing a whole scene for what because your order was wrong <laughs> like girl relax so after that we get back to the airbnb and everybody is just like still have an attitude the energy is still bad and we were supposed to go out that night so i told everybody again wear heels so people like well we wore heels well whoever wore heels the, day, the night before because everybody didn't wear heels but they was like uh, we wore heels last night i'm not wearing heels i'm not wearing no heels i'm not wearing no heels i'm not wearing no heels so the only person who wore heels that night was me 
my cousin, Hair by Jazz, and Brittany. I think all three of us were in heels. So, nobody wanted to wear heels. So, that night, um, I had invited my cousin over and his friends because they were going to come over pregame with us and go out with us. So, y'all, my cousin pulls up to the Airbnb. I lied to y'all not. I wish I still had the message with that he texted me. Y'all, when I tell y'all the energy was dry, the energy was so dry again they're in the back room smoking all day so they finally come out i'm trying to take shots with my cousin i'm trying to turn up i'm playing music and y'all it was just not giving it wasn't giving birthday it wasn't giving turn up it wasn't giving celebration it wasn't giving none of that and like my cousin felt the energy literally they didn't even go out with us <laughs> like they were there i think they smoked a little bit drunk and then they left they didn't even, like I said, we all was supposed to go out. My cousin was just, he won't feel in it. So he left and he literally texted me and was like, your friends are weird. His words, not mine. His words, not mine. He literally texted me and said, your friends are weird. It's your birthday and nobody's acting like it's your birthday. Nobody's trying to turn up with you pretty much. That's what he said. And I was just like, my excuse was, oh, they all... They all was smoking all day. They're high, so their energy is down, whatever the case may be. He didn't text back. He was just like, okay, well, enjoy your birthday. I'll see you next time you come to New York. He won't even try to be around it. Like, you could just tell. I don't know what it was. I don't, to this day, I still don't know what the problem was, why nobody really wanted to turn up. But it, like, it made me mad because when it's other people's birthday, baby, I make sure a time is had. It's always going to be a vibe with me. So when it's other people's birthday, I'm like, yeah, birthday girl, yeah, birthday girl. Like, I'm hyping you up all day all day i didn't get no oh you look good you i like your outfit and mind y'all i was stepping <laughs> i always step on my birthday but the only people really who was hyping me up honestly on a trip and i'm just keeping it a buck was my cousin sunshine and Brittany. and that's just that's just keeping it a buck those was the only people who were like really turning up with me, trying to make sure I had a good time or whatever the case may be. So we had wound up going out that night. Mind y'all, no, everybody didn't wear heels. So we get to the club and the person at the door is like, oh, they can't get in because they don't have heels on. So they're like, what? They're going back and forth with the bouncer. And at this point, I'm getting irritated. Now, like, this is strike three. Y'all are pissing me off. So I think I kind of snapped a little bit because it's like... This whole trip, y'all been ignoring me and not, you know what I'm saying, turning up with me for real, just not acting like it's my birthday, so what's going on? So I kind of snapped. I'm like, I told y'all to wear heels, and this is what y'all get. So honestly, I wanted to still go in the club. So I was like, I don't know what y'all going to do, but I'm going in the club because this is our last night here, and I want to have a good time. So now I'm being selfish, right? Now it's my turn to be selfish. Y'all been selfish this whole trip, so it's my turn. So I'm like, I don't know what y'all going to do. Y'all can catch an Uber back to um the airbnb but i'm going inside the crib y'all when i said that who y'all think had an attitude attitude so they're like well she's like what you really gonna go in there and leave us so it's like when it's my turn to be selfish it's like what you really gonna leave us oh that's messed up that's messed up you gonna go inside the club and we, where we gonna go back to the airbnb and do what what we gonna do at the airbnb that's not my problem i told y'all to wear heels i told y'all to put heels on like i literally told y'all my cousin said that the clubs here they don't play about the dress code you have to come a certain type of way when you come out you have to step and i told y'all to wear heels like y'all just did not listen which y'all have not been listening to me this whole trip so they were just like oh giving me pushback or whatever the case may be and my cousin Brittany was like what you trying to do because we got on heels we could go inside the club and me feeling bad <laughs> i should have took my butt inside the club me feeling bad i'm just like no we all just gonna go back to the airbnb and just we'll turn up at the airbnb which i knew that wasn't gonna be the case because they didn't turn up before we went out so why do you think they're gonna turn up once we get back to the airbnb so get back to the airbnb of course they go in the room and i think we just wind up going to sleep because i was just irritated and i think i had an attitude like i don't want to talk to none of y'all because now like y'all pissing y'all pissed me off and now i'm in a totally different headspace like if that would have happened now, maybe I'm leaving y'all. I don't care what nobody has to say. I don't care about nobody's feelings. I don't care. But back then, like, I really was just 
I don't a nice person. I just didn't like the confrontation. I didn't like none of that. So I'm like, okay, let's just go back to the Airbnb. We just gonna go back. So we went back. Everybody wound up going to sleep. The next day we had to leave. Y'all, when I tell y'all on the bus ride, I did not talk to anyone. <laughs> I didn't talk to anyone and you could tell like baby I just I was irritated and in my mind I'm like never again will I invite all these people on a trip to like never again and to this day to this day I have not taken a trip with a bunch of people like a whole group of people I'm not doing it no more it's literally going to be like three of us and including me so that means only two other people because baby the amount of energy and just like especially if you don't really rock with somebody don't go traveling with them do not go traveling with them zero out of ten zero out of ten do not recommend don't do it so the bus ride back y'all when i tell you i'm not talking to nobody i'm not talking to nobody we finally get to the city and um of course the four that was already separated from us they we get off the bus they literally go to like they went one way, we went one way because we had to call an Uber back to the crib. So I took my group of people. They was over there, whatever. I didn't even, I didn't care what they had going on. I don't care about their Uber. It's going to be us. We're going to figure out how we're going to get back to the crib. They've been doing them this whole trip. So let them continue to do them. So uh, we finally, and I think once we got back, they tried to talk to me like, you okay? You okay? I'm just like, yeah, like whatever. So we get back to the crib, y'all. And my cousin, she didn't even, like I said, she was from Richmond. So she drove right back to Richmond. She didn't even stay. We, as soon as we got back to the crib, that baby put her bags in her car and she got on the road. She didn't even come inside the crib. She ain't chill. She ain't do none of that. So we get back to the crib, y'all. And I go in my room and Sunshine, um, she could tell that like my energy was off. So she comes in my room and she's just like, um... She was like, I know that trip didn't go as expected. And y'all, I just broke down and started crying. That probably was the first time Sunshine has ever seen me cry. And I won't even cry because I was sad. I was crying because I was pissed off because I give out so much good energy on everybody's birthday. And it really pissed me off that nobody was like, everybody was acting stank real stink so she was just like and even she knew that she knew that my cousin knew that Britain knew that the only people who was acting like some type of way was them other group of people so she literally y'all i'm crying and she's like china i know she was like i know and it's not right it's not right because and even she said she said you turn up on everybody's birthday you give out good energy she said that's why i was trying my best to make sure you had a good time she said i couldn't make it to the pole dance class but you seen when y'all got back i had drinks ready my energy was up she was like, i was really trying to make you have a good time but when you have other bad energies around it don't matter what you do like their energy is going to transfer over and that's exactly what happened like not only did y'all i said don't smoke in the airbnb y'all smoking in the airbnb getting high all day being born i don't like that it's my birthday nobody's acting like it's my birthday i'm telling everybody to wear a certain thing nobody is wearing it everybody is just doing their own thing so why did you come like why did you come why so i broke down and sunshine was just like I know and to this day me and Sunshine be like that trip was the worst trip ever and me and her just be here like girl we not inviting nobody like if me and you friends you coming with me don't ask to bring your friend because they're not coming they're not coming no 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 hell no h-e-double-l no they're not coming don't ask they are not invited on my trip anyway if they're if it's their trip and they invite me i still may not go i don't know because sunshine and her best friend attitude just went on a trip to houston and i was gonna go but i was like uh, -uh i ain't going good thing i didn't go because some stuff happened in houston but anywho yeah more of the story when it's your birthday and i said this earlier in the beginning of the video please make sure that you have set the energy that you want if you know somebody's gonna have an attitude or you know how their attitude is do not invite them and it's your birthday you could be as selfish as you want to be don't invite them you know how you want your birthday to go you know what energies you want around you you know who is going to celebrate you genuinely so invite those people everybody else baby i'm sorry but you're not invited I don't know you. No, you can't come. No, I don't care. The more the merrier is not always the case. So, yeah, that was that, y'all. Literally the worst birthday trip ever. I have not gone on a birthday trip since then. And I am 27 years old. <laughs> like, when I say scarred, 
when I say I'm scarred, I am scarred. I don't think I've been, I think I've been, after the New York trip, I think I went to Miami. But guess who went? Just me and my cousin here by Jazz and we had us a ball. <laughs> I'm probably gonna do a story time about that too in Miami, but baby, cause some stuff happened there, but it won't between us. It was just some other stuff. But y'all, we had a ball. Okay, me and my cousin having a good old time. And I ain't been on no trip with a whole bunch of people since. And I probably would never. So that was my horrible story time about my trip in New York. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this story time, leave me some comments down below. I'm going to be doing story time every Friday. So make sure y'all are liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel, watching my vlogs, doing all of that. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. And until next time, bye.